How does look behind patterns in regular expression work? In the previous lesson, we saw look ahead patterns, which allows you to match a pattern if it is followed by another pattern. Now with look behind patterns, they are kind of the opposite. With look behind patterns, you match a pattern if that pattern is preceded by another pattern. Now let's see an example where we can use look behind patterns. Let's say we had a string like he bought 50 items with $500. Now here we have two numbers, 50 and 500. If we wanted to match all the numbers here, we could easily use backward slash D, which is a digit meta character. And then we have the plus quantifier, which means one or more. But what if we only wanted to match the number here that is preceded by this dollar sign? And this is where we can use a look behind pattern. And what's the syntax of a look behind pattern? Well, you have your open parentheses, you have your question mark, followed by the less than symbol, then the equal symbol, and you have your pattern, which is the look behind pattern. Then you your parentheses and then you have the pattern that you actually want to match now if you remember the syntax for look ahead patterns in the parentheses you have question mark and equal to but with look behinds in the parentheses you have question mark they have less than before the equal to now let's see how we can apply that here so we're going to put our look behind here you have your open and close parentheses you have your question mark less than which signifies this is a look behind then equal to if you don't put the less than this is going to be a look ahead and the word is the pattern that we want to look behind for we want to look behind for the dollar sign but because the dollar sign is a special character if you remember from the special character lesson they are going to use an escape character so that it matches the dollar sign character and now you can see that only 500 is matched because 500 is preceded by the dollar sign so let's say he bought 50 items with 500 dollars and 10 dollars you see that it matches 510 because they are preceded by the dollar sign Sign. Now, just as you have negative look ahead patterns, you also have negative look behind patterns. Negative look ahead patterns allows you to match a pattern if that pattern is not followed by another pattern. In the case of negative look behind patterns, it allows you to match a pattern if that pattern is not preceded by another pattern. Now, let's come back to this example. Let's say we want to match the numbers that are not preceded by this dollar sign. Well, we can change this from a positive look behind, which it currently is, to a a negative look behind and the simplest way to do that is to change this equal sign to an exclamation mark and this becomes a negative look behind now if you remember a negative look ahead is question mark and this exclamation sign so again by putting this less than symbol here it makes it a negative look behind and now you can see that it is matching 50 because 50 is not preceded by the dollar sign it is also matching 00, zero because 00, zero is not preceded by the dollar sign zero zero is preceded with five zero here is also preceded with one so they are also a match because they are not preceded with the dollar sign now when it comes to look behind patterns one thing that is very important to know for a couple of flavors of regex engines is that these patterns must have a fixed length what do i mean by this now let's say we had this string here i named four files one readme 10 tutorials 100 how to guide and 400 teach me let's say we wanted to match all of these files here where we could easily say digit meta character one or more then we have the hyphen and then we have a word meta character one or more so this would match digits 1 10 100 400 followed by hyphen followed by word meta character remember word meta character is letter digits or the underscore symbol so it matches all of this now what if i only wanted to get the file names i'm not interested in the number and the hyphen well you might think let me use a look behind pattern so instead you're now going to put this digit meta character and the hyphen in a look behind like this so that you only match these characters here well that would not work and the error that widget 101 shows us is that a quantifier inside a look behind makes it a non-fixed width remember i said look behind patterns must be fixed width right let me explain now coming back to our previous example you have he bought 50 items with this now when it comes to look behind you have to tell the widget engine how many times do you need to move back so here you have your look behind pattern here and then you have the pattern you're actually looking for so the widget engine would first look for this pattern now it goes from here from here until it gets to this point and it finds 50 but then it checks is 50 preceded by this now this needs to tell the 
index engine go back x number of times now in this case we have just one character the escape character and the dollar sign makes it just one regular dollar sign character so the regex engine would go back one time and then it can check this item within the space of which it has moved back is this a dollar sign it is not a dollar sign that means 50 is not a valid match the regex engine keeps going until it comes across 500 which matches this now before it returns it as a valid match now what the regex engine will do again is remember you tell it to go back just one time so it goes back one time and then it checks is this a dollar sign character it is then this is a valid match now let's say you had two dollar signs here now the regex engine finds the 500 this will tell it to go back two times so it goes one two and then after this one two it will check does this match yes it matches then it returns 500 this is a fixed width or a fixed length a fixed length of two so coming back to this example here when you use a quantifier like this this makes it a non-fixed width because you're having one or more digits and that means even when the regex engine finds a word character let's say it finds this for example because this is non-fixed width the regex engine doesn't know how far that it needs to go away like should it go one two three four five before it checks this or should it go one two three four five six seven eight nine before it checks if this matches the look behind pattern but if you just had a fixed width here that tells the regex engine go back five times here this is fixed the regex engine can easily say one two three four five and then it checks now some flavors of regex engines might allow non-fixed lens look behind patterns but for most flavors they don't and a good way to verify this is again come to regex 101 and you can check out all these different flavors to know what flavors support specific features so with look behind patterns like i said for most flavors you should have a fixed width here this is five if you specify a fixed width of one now oh sorry there should be a hyphen if you specify a fixed width of one you can see here it matches readme here it matches tutorials it matches how to guide and it matches teach me because this one would represent just one digit one digit one digit one digit if you specify two well it's not going to match one readme anymore because here you only have one digit but your look behind says look behind for two digits so it doesn't match only one but since 10 is two digits followed by hyphen then it matches this and matches this and it matches this so a recap of this lesson with look behind patterns you have the positive look behind and the negative look behind the positive look behind checks if a pattern is preceded by another pattern while the negative look behind checks if a pattern is not preceded by another pattern i hope this lesson helps simplify the concept of look behind patterns and also helps you understand how look around patterns in general can be very useful for different use cases